In this video, we're going to look at the manual and take a look at the basic functions and how to turn this thing on, the settings and everything else. Um, I've watched many videos from, you know, a lot of channels that I'm not saying that the people are putting out bad info. They don't give you the details and show you some stuff that's critical if you're going to go and put your money down and get one of these machines. All right, first off, the manual. Um, <clears throat> there was one online. I think I downloaded it, glanced over it. But now I have the one that came with the machine, and we'll, we'll read it. First off, there's caution. Okay, read this for use. On board sensors and bridges, let me slide this out of the way, are very sensitive to stress. Do not press on them, place objects on them, or lift the device by the bridge. Don't do that, so be careful. The plastic cover on the display protects the screen from damage. Do not remove the plastic cover, so don't try peeling off whatever's down here on this. Don't peel off the cover, okay? And then here's something nobody ever mentions is Sigma Metallics and Precious Metals Verifier Pro make no claims, guarantee, or promise that measurements made by Precious Metal Verifier Pro indicate that the sample is or is not genuine. Measurements, measurement results, whether within or without the bounds consistent with selected metal or alloy, are for information only. And any judgment about or action taken with regard to any sample is entirely the responsibility of the user. To ensure accuracy, thoroughly read the instructions and be aware of special conditions that may affect readings. That's something everyone kind of forgets, so they got a disclaimer saying that if you use their machine and interpret it wrong, they ain't going to be liable, which I can understand. All right, so you got a chart here that shows you all the different features and this, like anything else, and the pro functions. Okay, we'll go over. There's four functions that it does. Basic verification mode. The PMV Pro measures the samples re uh, resistivity under the surface of the metal that ensures no contaminants or foreign metals are in it. Through mode, okay, uses a sensor above and below. The PMV Pro measures the sample's bulk resistivity. This measurement checks entire, the entirety of the sample and ensures there are no contaminants or foreign things between the sensors. Thickness measurement. The Pro electronically measures the thickness of the sample using average thickness of the face of the sample. Okay. And dimension verification. It can perform a specific gravity test to ensure the correct density. Okay, and this one's kind of important because you can trick the sensor, but generally the way it works. A fake, it's awful difficult to have a fake weigh and be the same size and trip this sensor. Uh, you know, resistivity or conductivity, that's another thing. All right, it goes through and shows you how to turn this on, you got to calibrate it, and there's a setup. Now, this is something that a lot of the other people don't talk about the setup. So what we'll do is we'll get this thing set up here, and I'll zoom in, and we'll turn it on, and I'll show you how to go to the setup page and what all these little buttons kind of do. All right, one feature I didn't see here. Let's see. We're going to power it up. You guys can see it. Okay, now it's going to tie. Every time you turn this on, you got to calibrate it, and that's this little button here. So you hit it, calibrate. 
Okay, now we're on silver. This doesn't matter. There's your battery. My battery's charged, and this is on silver. So, to go to the setup page from here, you go to number nine and press that. And now you're on the setup page, and it shows you, okay, weight mode. We want it on. Okay, and you just basically press the arrow buttons down. Okay. Now, display. There's resistivity and conductivity. Okay. And I went and printed out a sheet. This I highly recommend you go and get these numbers. Okay, and this thing has them both. Resistivity and conductivity for silver. And this thing will display this number. Here, which we're going to go with the way it's set resistivity and when you put a, a sample on there a number like this will be displayed so this is a good reference okay background lighting okay that there is just how bright this is I got it on bright so you can see it in a timeout I guess if you let this machine sit idle I guess those are minutes five minutes and how you would do it is scroll down with this and then go over, you know, and back. All right, then whenever you want to get out of any screen, number eight with the arrow going sideways takes you out. All right, so that's something nobody ever showed. Now let's go into the basic functions. We're going to go with your metals. Now this gets a little complicated, metal selection, and I think this newer version has more options than the older version. Okay, so we go with metals. And here we have the coin selection. Now, let me go up with this. And I think this is what the newer thing, there's a lot of different coins in here. And I didn't know there's gold and silver in here. So you have all your gold coins, eagles, maple leaves, sovereigns, okay, and your uh, Britannia's gold. And as you go down, uh, it gives you all the different coins, which are pretty common, which is nice, okay. Gold Libertad's pure, this and that, Austrian ducats. Now we get in, as you go down to the gold, you get in the silver. I didn't know this. And you got your eagles, livet heads, uh, maple leaves, Krugerrands, Britannias, 80% Canadian. So you can go and get the specific coin, because all of these have a slightly different alloy and that'll throw off the uh, thing so we got that then we have your other metals select others you got platinum palladium rhodium copper calibrate I guess is for that little disc if you have to uh, adjust and rhodium pan which something about it it's different and it uh, has to have a separate reading so now you got, what is it, silver? Yeah, silver. Now, silver kind of, you got pure, sterling, uh, your 90% coins, different things, and uh, Britannia's that were 96%. And I think that's all. And all of this, too, is controlled, yeah, with these arrow buttons. And... We got gold, and you got gold with a number of different selections. Uh, you got eagles, maples, and you got all the different type of alloys and percentages here. Which, if you have a different coin, it has these certain percentages, whatever it means. I'm not quite sure, but a bunch of choices. So this thing will read, you know, you can specify that. And 
that's it. And then see, you go to one side with gold, and you come back, silver, other, coins. See, and then that's how you navigate through this. So, let me go with silver, pure, I'm going to, now, any of these windows, any of these, uh, to move back and forth or get out of this mold mode, number eight with a return, you press number eight, and there you go. Now, another thing I believe what they did is you go wait, okay, and you got units in ounces, you got to where you can specifically put your weight, and you got metric grams, ounces, yep, and this, this will keep. So you got um, ounces, grams, and if you have to go and add a specific weight for some type of coin, okay, you can. So let's do this. We'll go with ounces, okay, and we'll go with 10. All right, so we got the weight and all this, and then we hit our number eight. Bingo. Okay, silver pure. <clears throat> so those are your different modes. Okay, and we're going to just do a basic reading here and do the dimension verification and all this other fun stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go into the wands, but you know, I wanted to explain to you there's several different ways of doing this. And also there's spec sheets and all this other fun stuff. You can look all this up, you know, but what I do is I print the stuff out and just keep it with the thing as a reference. So the reason I bought this uh, is I wanted to test this. I'll have a separate video talking about this purchase. But it's a 10 ounce pant bar. It doesn't have a case or it's... Uh, certification. Now that come out pretty nice, okay? And what this is doing, it's showing me 160, 163. And if we look, these numbers here, silver is 151.59. So we're a little bit more if it was dead in the center, it would be 159. So those are good readings, okay? Both in the center and on the surface. The surface one's a little bit off. So let's go and measure to get specific gravity. Hit the measure. And then we want rectangle, okay? And then we go with, again, to, once we set this, to get it into measure mode, number eight with that little sideways arrow. And now we have it set to where we line this up with this dotted line. And we are in the green. Actually, it's like exact. If you go with the dotted line, it like just, you can barely see that. So. This is telling us that it's measured the bar, and the bar is where it should be, pretty much exactly from that line lit up to here. So that's how this works. That's some of your features, and I thought I'd tell you that a little bit. Uh, I guess we go to metal. and back there again. So there's a little bit more of this machine than a lot of the people showed, okay? And uh, that's basically how you take a reading with it. And that's your setting page and all that other fun stuff. So like I said, it's good to have this little sheet 
kind of gives you an idea how close you are that's, and uh, that's how it reads. Now, it can read in the setup on conductivity. Now, that would be a different number. Instead of the 1.59, it would be the 6.30. But we'll leave it with uh, what we got there. <clears throat> okay, so there you go. That's your basic functions. Uh, there's a lot of options in here. I believe this is what the newer model had, like the coins. I don't believe the earlier models, I don't know, I've never used one, had the uh, coins listed, which saves you a lot of hassle because a lot of times I have a lot of those coins, you know, be it maple leaves or, um, you know, Krugerrands, be them silver or gold, they're pretty common. So, that's my take on this. So remember, this machine is delicate, be careful. That's your basic navigation, your setup, and, you know, you have your custom weight and you have your different things for the display and you can switch this from resistivity to conductivity okay whichever you prefer and I didn't know that so there's several things here uh, that we learned and I will go make some other videos uh, testing different things and I found that uh, you know, most people will show you like I did. I showed you this simple thing that I know is going to work. Kind of give you an idea of what a good reading is. But I believe that when it comes to smaller samples, certain sizes, there's going to be some uh, different readings. And we'll go over them and interpret them uh, in other videos. Alright guys, hit the like button, please subscribe and... I want to do a lot more work with this thing and get in-depth in it and, you know, not show you everything that's perfect and not show you a basic fake that's, you know, easy to, to determine. We're going to get in and have some fun with this. All right.